Hey everyone, this is CBGS, Brandon here, and today I'll be bringing to you the first booster set of our Shin Tensei Era World Truth uh, BS56. So, the, this set features the new mechanic from uh, this era, so it's Mirage, similar to our burst, uh, similar to our burst mechanic long long time ago. Uh, it is a card that you can set face up in your burst area by paying the cost. So, looking at this set, this set is also uh, supposed to give us our 3 out of 12 of the Sword X-Ray uh, Sword X-Ray Revivals so uh, from our very very nice Swords from Swords era oh, Onegai Shimas. Uh, this is very very nice to see so in the front here uh, we also have oh yeah forgot to mention the, the set itself also has cards that came out from the anime if you haven't seen that yet everything uh, hopefully everything will be in the description below uh, so looking at the box itself so the box is a 16 pack box of course with uh, 9 uh, six, uh, yeah, 16 pack box 1 pack containing 9 cards and then in the set itself we have these rarities as follows so we have uh, 2 double x rays 9 x rays 3 tensei x rays 1 being the very nice guy Asura on the front of the box here, I um, have uh, 12 Master Rares, 15 Rares, 12 Tensei Rares, 45 Commons, and 3 Campaign Cards, which is the 3 Swords that we're getting this set, which I, if I didn't remember wrongly, is Shining Sword X, uh, Usuba Kagero X, and Abyss Apocalypse X, all 3 being my favourite, huh? How coincidental. So, let's open up this very nice box. So, uh, of course, on the front here, we have a Guy Asura and a uh, the quote unquote re um, spoiler alert, uh, nah, um, uh, uh, other world king, cause who who can, who else could ever wield Guy Asura, right? So, ah, we have the one back. Oh, oh, we got a secret. Oh, right, because every box comes with like one parallel art secret Tensei card. So here we we have the secret Kabanko from the yellow primal half. Oh, Shadow is gonna love this. <laughs> First time hitting a yellow secret, but it's not the one in the box. Okay, let's continue with cracking the packs as well. Oh, and we hit our first extra for this pack. So we have the number 17 oracle of the uh, extra, the white extra, the star. Oh, very, very nice card. Uh, very nice with the uh, Machine Dragon deck. Ooh, oh, okay, we hit our campaign promo. Our Usuba Kagero X. Very, very nice card. Oh, they use the art from the, uh, from the, uh, what do you call it? The special, the, the special uh, set long, long ago. Very, very thick. Okay, we, this is a very, very snowy box here because uh, after hitting the star, we managed to hit the Rouse Emperor for a white Rouse Emperor with Calm Break. So, uh, this is the Yeti. Very nice double symbol. And if you're wondering, it's an Ice Princess apparently. And it's probably because of the little girl he's holding in his hand. Oh, yeah, it really is. Normal. And also Giant Beast. I just hit. Wow. Okay. Sure. Okay. So we hit our our quote unquote ten X ray slash ten say X ray for this uh, set. So we got ourselves the uh, Dragon Knight Ambrosius. Ambrosius. Yes, Ambrosius. And the back is a uh, Grand Walker Merlin, uh, where Gareth used uh, in the anime. I was right, we, st we still have one more X-ray. So, uh, this X-ray is the green X-ray from this set that is not together with uh, Izanami Izanagi. Uh, I, I can't remember his name, but he's a blade insect shaman. Really, really nice card, I think.
Okay, so now that we have quote unquote gathered all uh, our foils in this box and finished this, so we're gonna be talking about these cards uh, really, uh, right after this, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon! And we are back! So, uh, we will be covering the, uh, well, every pack give you, uh, every box give you one secret rare foil and higher cards. So for more information for the translations of this set and all the previous sets that, are come, uh, that have came out in the game, uh, do check out World of Cards, link in the description below. So starting off, we're going to take a look at our uh, 10x rare. Uh, for this set. So this is the Dragon Knight Ambrose. So it's a uh, Kigen Evil Shadow uh, with the Tensei effect. When your Dragon Knight or yes, when your, your spirit contains the name Dragon Knight or Dragon Knight Emperor of cost 5 or more reduces your opponent's life or if this spirit leaves the field by your opponent, you may flip this spirit. Uh, the cause will be sent to the result because it becomes a Grand Walker. And then level 2-3 during your attack step, when your spirits containing the name Dragonite slash Dragonite Emperor attacks, for each counter your opponent must send one call from their spirits to the trash in order to block. Uh, nice spirit side, so uh, so from the Tensei effect we know that he flips into a grand, uh, quote unquote Grand Walker, so he flips into the Grand Walker Merlin. So he's a Kigen Grand Walker with a uh, call charge of uh, Dragonite and Dark Knight, uh, and cost 3 or higher. So as per usual, our usual core charge stuff. Uh, and then we have his grand skill. Uh, a grand skill three. One and two during the start of your attack step. You can send three calls from this nexus to uh, send three calls from this nexus to the void. During this turn, one of your spirit containing the name Dragon Knight, Dark Knight, or Dragon Knight Emperor is unaffected by opposing spirit nexus effects. And that and when that spirit attacks, opposing effects cannot end the attack step. And also Grand Skill 3, oh he has 2 Grand Skills, okay great, uh, but this is a level 2, Flash during both players attack step, once per turn send 3 calls from next level. so once per turn, uh, send 2 calls from opposing spirit ultimates to the reserve, uh, pretty good support card for the uh, Dragon Knight slash Dark Knight archetype, uh, Dragon Knights have been heavily, been trying to be heavily, heavily pushed by uh, Van Knight, <laughs> cause it's the protagonist archetype this time. Hooray! Uh, really, really nice card. Uh, Ambrosius is cheap, 4 cost. Uh, Merlin is a 4 cost, doesn't get turned off. Uh, his symbol doesn't get turned off by like Vina Grandstone. Uh, the Grand, the start of the next step, Grand Skill, uh, targeting like anything to. Targeting maybe like Sordius to, you know, swing and make sure that your opponent can't end the next step while he's swinging. Uh, but if he leaves the field, that'd be quite sad. But uh, he does get immunity from Spirit Nexus effects, which is relevant. Uh, however, I do see, I do foresee people trying to play more magic because uh, Freezeum is still on top. <laughs> Ice Princess. Okay. Anyway, moving on to our second extra of this set. Uh, I'm sorry, our second card of today's video and the white one of the white extras for this set, which is an Oracle card. So one, uh, so his name, the Twenty One Oracle Pillar Seventeen. It's Oracle Pillar Seventeen, the Star. Yes, he he poses like Jojo and Grand Laga. Amazing! So, uh, family unknown and what subjugator? Or oh, they call they call it unknown and subjugator this time, huh? Okay, can. So, fact: during the start of your opponent's attack step, you can put the top card of your deck face down beneath this spirit. Uh, bracket: if this spirit is depleted, discard the cards beneath it. And if it leaves the field by any other means, add the card beneath it to your hand. Level one, two, and three. When your life is reduced by the, your opponent by adding one card from beneath this spirit to your hand, reduce the uh, well the li the amount of cost reduced by one. Uh, level two and three, all your red white spirits uh, cause from the family subjugator cannot be reduced to less than two by opposing effects and is unaffected by opposing white and blue effects. So look at the cards. Oh, I did mention that. I remember he was given kind of some card draw, which is his level 1, 2, 3 from his start of attack step effect, putting the card underneath him. And uh, having when your life is being reduced, you can, you know, take one card back and reduce it by one. Um, 
Fun fact, if he's being depleted, the cards on him will be thrown away into the trash. However, if it does get destroyed or bounced to the bottom of your deck or to your hand, the card will the cards beneath him will go to your hand as well, which I think is pretty pretty cool. But it's a bit scary because you know red white being the um the best having the best of both worlds as we've seen from like two eras uh, two eras in a row, or maybe even three by now because we have Amaterasu and Heroes being white and blue decks, uh, white and red, white and red decks, so this might be a very, very interesting addition to said line of the heritage of scary archetypes. Yes, so moving on, oh, great card, I really love to see it. So our white calm break extra for this set, the great giant, uh, the great ice giant beast, Yetika Urkis, I do not see the ice princess in this name. Whatever. Anyway, uh, it's a uh, origin a giant beast ice princess. Um, like I said, it's probably the little girl he's holding in his hand. Cough, cough. Uh, police, please don't arrest me. Uh, anyway, so the first effect that we have on him is the count break four when this spirit attacks. So you can reduce your counters by four. So you set uh, four counters from four call from your count area to the void. Um, you, you, if you done so, return all nexuses to the top of your deck. For each Nexus return, send one call from your bonus life to the reserve. Call break can only be used once per game. Well, it's a hard once per game skill, but though this kind of free life sniping one is painful. Anyway, level 2 and 3 when this spirit attacks. You can send uh no, not you can. Just send two opposing spirit uh, uh, call uh, send two opposing spirits and ultimates to the bottom of their deck. Of the deck. Turn of the day, destroy one opposing burst. This count break is painful because now, with the meta rotating around, well, playing more normal nexuses, giving white this kind of, uh, giving, uh, giving Count Break, like the Senryu Kaku effect, from way back when it's Burning Soul, instead of Spirits Nexuses, makes the, makes it really painful, because stop drawing into dead nexuses, uh, while, you need, while you need stuff to push, especially, like, as I noticed from this, that we barely got any searches of any kind, so, well, except for probably the older archetypes that had searches anyway, um, I think this is a pretty strong card. I don't know how often the Ice Princess deck would see it, but you know, two symbols, it's painful, another target for Grand Warden, blah blah blah, the usual stuff. Wonderful, wonderful cards. Um, very painful, but you know, you love to see, you love to see good cards. Okay, moving on to our green Shaman X-ray here. So, he looks like a policeman and, or a Sentai for some reason. But that's okay. Uh, his name is Light Shell Detective Mandy Baris. Uh, family subjugator, late insect shaman. Wow, can play in Aries. Oh my god, wonderful support. Anyways, uh, level 1, 2, 3, when he attacks, you can exhaust two opposing spirits, ultimates, and, and add two core from the void to this spirit. After that, you can set one green or yellow mirage card from your hand without paying the cost. If you've done so, you may return two opposing exhausted spirits or ultimates to the bottom of the deck. Level 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, opposing burst effects cannot be activated. Additionally, once per turn, refresh this spirit. Level 1 skill proccing into his level 2 skill, Subarashi. Um, setting a green-yellow mirage card without paying the cost, Subarashi! Turning on the rest of your deck because Green Yellow actually needs it. Absolutely wonderful, 10 out of 10. Uh, the only sad part is that, you know, Green and Yellow as a whole, I don't know how shafted they got. I saw some of the cards. I don't know how happy or sad to feel about this. But with an extra as good as this, I have hope. So, now talking about green cards, we have our Sword Brave campaign promo which we will get in every box. The Black Insect Demon Blade, Usuba Kagero X, Family Sword Blade, uh, with an effect, Flash High Speed. You may summon this card from hand using cost from your reserve to pay its summoning cost and put onto this card. Uh, usual high speed stuff. Brave Condition, cost five or higher. When braved, when this spirit attacks, opposing burst effects cannot be activated. Uh, when brave, Tensei, when you have five counters or less, you can't use them at the same time. When this spirit leaves the field through your opponent, you may split and flip this brave. Sounds very much like drag hard weapons in Duel Masters. I called it to all the haters that didn't believe me. I called it! Anyways, um, it having his uh, traditional flash uh, high speed effect and uh, burst effects cannot be Oh wow, burst effects can't be activated. 
quite good. Really, really strong. Uh, that means that you could swing with a you could swing with a vanilla-ish card, and if your opponent has like a on destroy life decrease or whatnot, whatnot burst, you could high speed go into this, do extra damage. They can't open their burst. Good stuff and more good stuff. Although we now the burst don't really have the old unaffected text, but it's still wonderful. Um, so. And it also, saying that it has a Tensei effect that can split into a spirit, uh, we have the flip side. Wonderful, wonderful flip side, which is the Black Intent Demon Grey Usabaka Kakiro X. Uh, I, wait, pretty sure the name is on the other side? Well, it's the Tensei Gatai. Yes, the Tensei mode. It's flipped into a... Okay, so it's a Sword Blade Spirit. Oh, that's the first time seeing a Sword Blade Spirit. Uh, Blade Insect and Shaman, same as our good boy here, except that he has Subjugator instead, I think. Yeah, Subjugator instead. Uh, so on Tensei, Whirlwind 4. Uh, exhaust uh, 4 Opposing Spirits and Ultimates. Very straightforward. Uh, level 2 and 3, when this Spirit attacks, uh, uh, when the Blocking Opposing Spirit Ultimate is being destroyed, yes, when the Blocking Spirit Ultimate is defeated or destroyed, it's at one call from your opponent's life to the reserve. Standard green stuff. You cut. Although we don't do as much BB comparison in green as much as last time. Um, having the option to heavy exhaust for when this thing tends is is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, this is quite good. The, the Tensei, I'm very, I was very, very pleased when I saw the uh, that the swords were getting like some sort of revamp. Like This is really great. So uh, moving on to the last card that we have. So um, although usually we don't cover like Tensei rares, I feel that you know, I kind of want to show off the secret art here. So, we're going to talk about the card a little bit. So, it's the Astral Spirit Beast, Kavan Kray. Oh, I thought it was Kavan, Kavanko, but okay, never mind. It's e uh, it's an origin imaginary beast, so it supports the uh, older Kigen archetypes, which is really nice. So, uh, when summon draw one card from bottom deck, oh wow, that's great. Okay, that's a, this is good. Uh, opposing, uh, level 2 3, opposing effects cannot remove calls from your... Uh, on your yellow spirits from the family origin to less than 2. Okay, then level 2 3 rebirth when you have 3 counters or less. Uh, Tensei cannot be used at the same time. When your life is increased by your spirit's effects with the family origin, you may flip this spirit. Okay, so what does it do? Oh wow, it looks very really nice. Okay, so what does it do? On Tensei, it becomes the Divine Astral Spirit Beast Kavankre. Uh, same family's origin uh, imaginary beast, but it's a cost 5 this time. When this side is flipped out, remains on field and will counter the usual uh, rebirth, the blah, usual Tensei stuff. Uh, so, level 1, 2, 3, when this spirit Tensei, you, may, you can summon one spirit card containing the name Astral Spirit of any cost other than 3 in your hand or trash without paying the cost. Level 3, all your spirits containing the name Astral Spirit gains. When this spirit leaves the field by opposing effects, you can remain on field exhausted. Now, when I think of Astro Spirit name cards in Yellow Primal, the first thing I, the first thing that everyone has thought of is Mertiana, the imaginary beast extra that we got last set in BS55. Uh, Kabako here being able to turbo out the cost 8 is a very very nice feeling. Uh, Shadow again is gonna, gonna be very very happy seeing this, although we probably got a one carton worth of it anyways. So yeah, looking at the set as a whole with all these wonderful, wonderful new cards and mechanics, I'm looking forward to how the meta will shape up considering now it's very, very painful to see Ice Princess still topping, uh, them being very fast as a white deck as a, as a, a whole, similar to White Ninja Gale way long time ago. However, I do have hope that with uh, the newer cards, the meta may slow down to a much, much nicer pace. So if you like this box opening and you like what we see, Slam that like and subscribe button and ring and ring that bell to get notifications on all our latest videos for Vanguard, Bell Spirits and also some of the stuff that we might be doing on Twitch. Again, link in the description below. We also have our um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and our uh, Discord chat as well uh, where me and the boys will be there on most nights talking about, well, games and mainly anything that comes to mind. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this box opening and we hope to see you in the next one. Johnny!